Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 35 of Let's Play Chrono Trigger, brought to you by MuchGames.ca. Okay, there's gotta be something we can do about these pods, and we're gonna investigate that later on. But first, we gotta take on some more debuggists, and obviously you know how this is gonna go down. It's so obvious! You just spam the most powerful move in the game, and there you go. It's gonna be bad news when we run into enemies that are actually immune or absorb Luminaire. 300 years ago, the Lavos disaster greatly changed the planet. At this rate, humans will die out from pure despair. Um, uh, not really, we're still here. Some kind of doll and some kind of security drone. I grabbed a full tonic and now we gotta fight. Oh, and Mag is leveled up from that fight, good. This computer can give us data about the Genodome. Um, the door? To open locked doors, simply charge the energy pods beside them. You know that pod we just opened? Yeah, that's what it does. You gotta energize first in the pod to your left, then enter the pod next to a locked door. Uh, the conveyor belt. The belt conveyor to the right can be reversed with a switch above it. We'll be needing that later on. The robot guarding the figurine will block anyone that tries to pass, but if you place two guards in front of each other, they will short circuit. Does that have something to do with uh, magnetics or something? You must obtain the two figurines on this floor to fight the mother gra mother brain. Did I say mother grain? Yeah, apparently we're going to be fighting whole wheat now. Part of a nutritious breakfast of death. And that's how you open a door. Ooh, treasure! 50,000 gold? That's a bit much, don't you think? But I'll take it. Money's money. Okay, here are some new enemies, laser guards. In fact, I may not even need Luminaire. I'll just use a lightning too. Yeah, they have a low amount of HP, so you can easily take them out. Alright, it looks to be like some kind of passcode here. Let's try this. And then this, there you go. You just have to hit the two switches on the side. Now we gotta re-energize ourselves. Unlock that door. And that's all there is to it. We got one of the two figurines. Now we need to get to the other one. Okay, I believe we gotta unlock a door over there to the north of the conveyor belt. However, because the conveyor belt's going down, we won't be able to get there fast enough. You know how this is gonna go. Oh, three of them. Alright, that light over there will just send us back to the beginning if we want to leave. I don't want to take that lift yet. Instead, I want to keep exploring. Oh, treasure. Elixir. Lapis. And fighting! That's what we'll need to do. I just gotta make sure I give my give Chrono some uh, ethers or whatever. But I'm gonna wait till he's actually at zero. And see if I need to. If I find a save point, then I'll just use a shelter instead. Yeah, I mean they're they're more inexpensive than actually using ethers. Yeah, so we charge ourselves around here. We won't be able to make it to that pod in time. So it'll be in our best interest to do things like that. What? Oh, so that's gonna be the only way we can get to that switch? We have to actually get behind. So I have to find out how to deactivate that laser. So for now, I guess we do have to take the lift. Oh, there is a save point. Shelters are so much... Excuse me? Will it work now? I found that very weird. I thought I was right into the uh, save point. For some reason, it didn't say, oh, shelter is inactive. What's this? Ah, power tab. Awesome. You know what? I'm gonna give it to Robo. Considering it's his mission, he could use it. 
Chrono's already very powerful as is. And now there's more laser guards. Where are we at tech so far? Chrono, like I said, was already maxed. 96 more for Area Bomb. 115 more for Dark Mist. Okay, good. Ah, Lapis. Again. Nice leap there, Robo. And we got a Magic Tab. Why a Magic Tab in the future, I have no idea, but I'll take it. And obviously I'm gonna give this to Magus. Okay, there's even more laser guards. There's six of them, to be exact. So once again, you only need lightning, too. You don't need luminaire. Using luminaire would just be a waste of MP. Magic points, of course, not members of parliament. I mean, members of parliament, depending on what country you're in, are already a waste as is. But that's entirely your call. Yeah. You know how this is gonna go. Okay, so this is the spot where we're gonna need the uh, two figurines. We only got one of them. Luckily, these laser guards don't come back. Oh, now we got an area bomb. Ah, uh, that door's locked. For some reason, the figurine has to go on the left side, not the right. No, I mean the right side, not the left side. So specific. Ah, 15,000 gold. What the hell? Hmm, a human processing plant? Let us stop the machine. It's too well guarded. We have to destroy the central computer. Okay, so it's taking humans and killing them. Turning them to some kind of dust. It's kind of like Tales of Symphonia when they turn humans into x spears. Ah, full ether, that's nice. For some reason I thought there was some hidden treasure nearby, but no, there isn't. So, we gotta find a way to stop that. The only way we can is by defeating Mother Brain. So I guess we have to go on. Don't you understand? This planet would be peaceful if there were no humans around. And yet you still want to fight? Why? Doesn't seem that peaceful if you're trying to kill humans. Oh, here we go. You know how this is gonna go. I mean, all I have to do is Luminaire. Doesn't really matter who I fight. There's only three types of enemies. And they're all gonna die in one hit. Magus leveled up again. Okay, now this lift's gonna take us back down. But it should take us to the conveyor belt console. Which is where we've been wanting to go. There. Now whenever we energize ourselves, we can make it to that door in time. And that's why we're going there, it's for that other robot. Remember, there were two robots we had to take care of, and get them to short circuit by combining them. Only way we can do that is if we get them there. I say Magus will learn Dark Mist within three or four more battles. Give or take. It's like, I bet everybody there is just jealous of Magus. I mean, everybody else is running, but he can just glide or float. He doesn't even need to run. Seriously, how does he do it? There we go. First, let's get the treasure. Full ether and a hyper ether. Okay. So, you don't run to the other robot. You have to make sure that you're close enough to this one here so that it won't get stuck in the walls. I've had instances where the robot gets stuck in the walls for no reason whatsoever, but that's usually when I rush. If you're not rushing, you should be just fine. 
Just make sure you give it enough time so it don't, don't get stuck in any walls around the side. So that's usually the silent killer, or it slows the robot right down. And if you screw up, I mean, you can always just leave the room and then go back to it again. They're not going to lock the door again for you to get to them. That's it. And they always lock up in the middle for some reason, no matter where they're standing. So we get a Vigil Hat. I think the Vigil Hat protects your stats. Oh, it protects all status. Okay. You know what? I'll put it on Robo. What do I have on him now? Okay. Did I get the figurine? I think I did. Yeah, I got it. Okay. I'd hate to think I left it. Because that's the reason I came there in the first place. Is this the door to the left? Yes. Alright! Robo didn't really do anything. It was Chrono doing all the work. Welcome home, Prometheus! Atropos? Yes, it's been a while, Prometheus. You can stop pretending now and join us. Mwaha! Unlike the other R series, Prometheus had a special task. To live with humans and study them as a species. I see. Tell them, Prometheus. Now step back, Prometheus. We'll get rid of these humans, then go see Mother. Huh. We're leaving. Nope. What are you doing, Prometheus? I won't allow you to hurt them. You are indeed defective. They have tampered with you. I'll destroy them, then fix you. Atropos, you've changed. Indeed. Mother remade me to eliminate humans more efficiently. Step back, Prometheus. My name is Robo. Prometheus! I don't even think that hit Robo. Wait. Stand back and leave this to me. Alright. Atropos. Prometheus! Alright, so it's one-on-one. -on -one. So yeah, you pretty much gotta do all the work yourself. Let's try this attack. Oh, it was actually pretty good. Atropos is actually a very basic opponent. You don't have to worry about her too much. I assume that's a her, because, I mean, it's got a ribbon. It heals itself for 300 HP, though. Hmm, I think it'd be more efficient to use that attack. So, yeah, Atropos' attacks are actually very similar to what Robo already has. Like, the laser spin, for instance. Like, tackles, punching. Healing itself. Just don't my move. Okay, just heal itself again. I'll use a full tonic this time. Sadly, Robo doesn't have the ability to haste himself. What the hell was that? Did he just try to tickle me? Was that your attack? Alright, so, yeah, it's gonna be a slow battle because it is one-on-one. -on -one. So don't be surprised if it takes a while. Wow, that attack was useless thanks to the ruby armor. I thought I would have had to heal myself from that. But, no, I'm fine. Huh, <laughs> another area bomb. If I knew better, I would have put the red mail on Robo, and then I would have absorbed these attacks. Then I have another avenue of healing. That will do just fine regardless. Well, I'll do just fine regardless. It's one on one after all. Hmm. 
Okay, I say like a few more of these robo tackles and we got this in the bag. I am. Oh, that's how it ends. Prometheus, it's been ages. Atropos, I'm damaged. What happened? Atropos, my memory bank. Mother must have done something nasty when she reprogrammed me. Partial memory restored. I'm sorry, Prometheus. Atropos, this is for you. You can plug this into your circuits. Please take care of it. Goodbye, Prometheus. Okay, so now Robo's speed goes up by 3, and Magic Defense by 10, and yes, this is a passive upgrade. So in other words, you don't have to equip it, it's just there. Listen well, humans. Lavo's children will one day have to leave to seek new planets and pray. This world could sustain them if humans were not around. We robots will create a new order, a nation of steel and pure logic, a true paradise. Our species will replace you. So stop your foolish struggle and succumb to the sleep of eternity. Trying to create a perfect utopia, but it's not really that perfect. I mean, even logic has its flaws. Okay, so Robo really needs to heal himself. I'll give him like a mid-ether and a regular ether. Magus should be just fine. And I think I should switch party members. I still need Robo, in fact you have to have him. I'm gonna take out Magus for Ayla. You're gonna find out why soon enough. Alright, so this must be Mother Brain. You did well to come this far. I am the Mother Brain of the R-Y series factory. Come, Prometheus. You must once again join us. I'll reset your circuitry and erase your memories. Then we'll dispose of these filthy humans. I'm sorry, but I cannot afford to lose anything else. Not my precious memories, or my irreplaceable friends. You would betray me? To stay with these humans? You would turn against the family of robots? Humans have taught me much. Chrono, Marley, Luca, Frog, and a -level. Frog's not a human anymore. I will not betray my friends. Ho! Foo-hoo-hoo! -hoo. This is rich! Don't make me laugh! You? Have emotions? I'll show you just how human you've become. Alright, it's boss time. So to make this fight easier, take out these displays because they will keep helping out Mother Brain. Once you destroy them, then you got the advantage. And it doesn't even take much damage to do so anyway. So by destroying the displays, Mother Brain will just use that attack against you. And apparently it must have been a physical one, because Chrono took less damage than everyone else. Okay, that's why I brought in Ayla to get the uh, blue mail. So now it's time to go to town on Mother Brain. Just punch her right in the forehead. Jeez. Alright, so we pretty much got a severe advantage here. I don't think Mother Brain has many debilitating moves. In fact, the only memorable one is probably that attack. Ooh, I think it just got stronger. Alright, do we have a triple tech? Twister, okay. Oh, chaos mode. Then we don't even know our own uh, techniques. Yeah, we, we might want to fix that. I'm actually going to use one of my lapises. Good thing I got like 31 of them. I don't know if this attack actually gets stronger. 
I think it's all the same. Oh my god, it does get stronger. I didn't think it would get that bad. So the longer you stay battling Mother Brain, the stronger she gets. In fact, Luminaire did very weak damage. Ah, oh, reprogramming. Oh, now Ayla's in chaos mode. Oh, we won! Okay, so that's Mother Brain's gimmick. To get stronger over time. Prometheus, why? Because I can. Got the Terra Arm and the Crisis Arm. All machines in the factory have been shut off for good. Robo! Let's go. Alright, we're finally done here. And as for these new weapons... Robo's attack goes up with the Terra Arm. Crisis Arm, not so much. But it gets stronger when Robo's below 10 HP. It's not really worth it unless you know you're going to be brought down to 1 HP with each attack. But you can't guarantee it. The next attack will probably kill you. And is it really worth it? Because Robo's speed is still a tiny bit slow, even with the uh, Atropos ribbon. Alright, so let's take a look at how many quests we got left. Luckily, uh, Gaspar keeps track of them. We'll still deal with the Black Omen later. Okay, the Rainbow Shell. Oh, that's the only side quest we got left! Outside of the Black Omen. Okay, so, I'm gonna stop the video right here, and in the next part, we begin our quest to claim the Rainbow Shell. See you later, everyone.